Hi everyone, it's Chiclet Tea Dog, and I'm here to tell you that fame is a bitch. You know my story, right? Dog with a scandalous past gains fame as award-winning author? It all began with those photos on the internet. Okay, listen, I was young, and they said they were art pictures, and I needed the money. Then I got arrested for bone lifting. It was all just a mistake. I was just borrowing the bone. Soon, I was running with a fast pack and linked romantically with superstar athlete Jiggy. You probably know him as J-Doggy Dog. The paparazzi followed me everywhere I went. Here I am in the ladies' room, and they won't even leave me alone here. Even when Jiggy and I lowered our profile, tabloid reporters dogged us. They hounded us. We never had any privacy. Then, Jiggy got sick, and everything changed. I devoured whole books and surfed the web and interviewed famous veterinarians. As a wise dog once remarked, health is everything. So we gave up the fast life. I even checked into rehab for my bone addiction. Man, you wouldn't believe what I learned about dog care. About what really goes into our food. Here's a hint. Ever smell it? Humans vaccinate us based on information from the Stone Ages. And you give us medications with the possible side effect of death. I decided people needed a wake-up call in the form of a really cool book. One that actually made learning about dog care fun. I have it on good authority that humans like fun. My book is called Scared Poopless, The Straight Scoop on Dog Care. And that's my Jiggy on the cover acting like he's scared poopless. <laughs> I remember fondly the day we took that photo. I had just proposed. Scared Poopless won two national awards for the best health book of any kind and the best pet health book. And it's a finalist for a third award. I am way beyond amazing, if I do say so myself. My publicist wants to bill me as the world's tiniest literary sensation, but that could be tricky. In person, I only weigh four pounds, but I'm told the camera adds ten pounds. I'm going to be the world's tiniest giant. Speaking of cameras, as soon as Jiggy felt better, we booked gigs on TV to show people that their good intentions could be really bad for their dogs. Mom says these shows are also good practice for when Ellen and Oprah and The View want us to guest on their shows. They haven't called yet. They must be practicing so they'll be ready for us. By the way, Jiggy and I don't just obsess about dog health and safety. We also worry about the plight of the homeless. Here we are at a benefit book signing for the homeless. Homeless doggies and kitties. This is our third book signing fundraiser in 24 hours. Ever try to wag your tail and be adorable and keep your knees together so you don't pee on the carpet all at the same time? Whew! Who knew it would be so hard changing the world? Yep, fame is a bitch all right. But now I use it for a good cause. I have to warn people that they're endangering their dogs' lives without even knowing it. So before you have to max out your credit card to pay your next vet bill, you'd better get to www.fameisabitch.com. You'll find lots of cool free stuff there. Better hurry. <sighs> I'll try to wait up for ya.